Shana, this is your Rosie. And today we'll be looking at exam questions on indices. Sit back, get your pen and paper, let's do this together. Alright, today we'll start with this question I have here. Open the bracket 16 over 81. This fractional index 1 over 4. So we we'll start with the brackets, reduce it to uh, index form, okay? Reduce the bracket to index form and we have 2 to power 4 for 16, okay? And 3 to power 4 for 81. Remember, raise it to the given power 1 over 4. Is that clear? Now let's, you know, simplify this bracket further by introducing another bracket and that will be 2 over 3 all raised to power 4. Why am I doing this so that we will have just one index, okay? So reduce this to such a way we will have just one index covering both 2 and the 3. And still remember all raised to power 1 over 4. Okay, let me continue down here. So this now we are having double indices, okay, which will multiply out. So I'm going to have 2 over 3 multiplying, having the power 4 multiplying the fractional index 1 over 4. This will cancel out and we have remaining 2 over 3 raised to power 1, which is the same as 2 over 3. Exactly. So try it out. Drop your questions if you have any. Thank you. Next, we have this problem, and this is for us to find the unknown variable, which is x. So let's do this together. I have 9 to power 2x plus 1, okay, being equal to 81 to x minus 2 over 3 to x. Alright. Now I'm going to reduce this 9 to index form and also 81 to index form. 9 is 3 raised to power 2. So we still have this 2x plus 1. So 81 is 3 raised to power 4 multiplied by the given power x minus 2. And then we have 3 raised to the power x in its uh, lowest step. So let's open this bracket. On the right hand side, I have uh, 4x if you multiply out and then minus uh, 2. Sorry, minus 8, not 2. Sorry for that. I have to multiply this by 4 and also this by 4. Okay, exactly. So this is 8. Let me get my eraser. So that's it. 8 over 3x. Now we are going to apply the division law that says if we have this a raised to the power m over the same base a to the power n is equivalent to having to subtract the powers here with the same base. So we have that here. So I can simply put this this way. 1, we then have this 4x minus 8, then this would be minus x. Okay? So if I get the like terms, I'm going to have 3, 4, x minus x minus 8. Okay? So with that, I'm going to also open this bracket and I will have 3. If I open this bracket, this multiply this with 4, x. And also multiply plus 1, give plus 2. Okay? So on this side now, if I simplify, it is 3 raised to the power 3x, okay, minus 8 
Okay, since the base here is 3 and this is also 3, it means that the powers are equal. So this implies that 4x plus 2 is equal to 3x minus 8. So if you get the like terms together, I'm going to have to take the text here. So I'm taking this over here. It becomes minus 3x. I'll take this over here, it becomes minus 8, minus 2, the positive terms to hit it. So, on this side now, I have x to be equal to minus 10. Okay, so that's the result of the value we are looking for, the variable we are looking for. So, x is minus 10. All right. So try it out and drop your question if you have any. Now next we have does the simplify we have 16 raised to the power 5 over 4 multiplied by 2 to the power minus 3 times 3 to the power 0. Now I'm going to reduce this system to index form which is 2 raised to the power 4 then multiply by power gate which is 5 over now there is nothing to do here, it's already in the simplest form, which is 2 to minus 3. Then any number raised to the power 0 is 1, so I'm going to put it there. Then this will have to divide, giving us 5, so I'm having 2 raised to the power 5 times 2 raised to the power minus 3 times 1. Now I'm going to apply the multiplication law here that means that if I have this um, to power m and the same base to another power or the same power n that is the same as taking the base and adding the powers. Okay, so I'm going to do the same here. I'll take the base 2 and add the powers, which is 5 plus minus 3 times 1. So this is equivalent, and continue here to 2. 5 plus minus is minus minus 3 times 1. And that is 2 raised to power 5 minus 3 is 2 times uh, 1. Okay? 2 raised to power 2 is 4, so I'm having 4 times 1. And that would be 4. So if I simplify this, I'll get the answer as 4. So 4 is the answer. Okay. Next we have this. Okay. To evaluate. Okay. So let's go. We have 27 raised to power 1 over 3 over 16 raised to power minus 1 over 4. Okay. So we we'll still reduce 27 to index form and 16 to index form. So I'm going to have 27 is a uh, 3 raised to power 3, multiplying it by the given power, which is 1 over 3. And then 16 is 2 to the power of 4, okay, minus 1 over 4. So if I divide this, I will have 3 to the power of 1. Okay, if I divide this, I will have 2 to the power minus 1. Okay, so this is the same as having 3 over 2 to power minus 1. Now when you have negative power, you take the reciprocal. Okay? So we are going to take the reciprocal of this. So we will have 3 divided by then 2 minus 1. So remember, if I have negative power, I will take the reciprocal. So it's 1 over e raised to power n. So I'm going to do the same here. 3 divided by 1 over 2 raised to power 1 is the same as 1 over 2. So change this multiplication and then take the inverse of this and we have 3 times 2 over 1, which is the same as 3 times 2, and that gives us 6. So the result is 6 if you evaluate this given. In the system. So that is it for today.
Thanks so much for listening and God bless you. Bye-bye.